Welcome everyone in Nigeria and the rest of the world. I am Gimba Omar and this is State of Nation. Data feeds are still coming through in one place simultaneously on all our platforms and social media. You can view them all of there behind. And uh, today we are looking at some of the biggest stories, one of which is the situation, the security situation in Nigeria with precise and precision to what is happening in Benue State. Uh, these are the facts of the matter. Uh, Benue State has been attacked on Wednesday and uh, the governor there says that uh, up to 33 people were killed in the process. And leading up to this, uh, there has been security concerns in other parts of the country. In River State, for instance, 17 people were killed in the wake of the new year. And the governor has met indeed with the Minister for Interior, uh, Abdul Rahman uh, Dambazal, to try to see a way forward in resolving some of those security concerns in the country. The governor has put up a bounty of about 200 million naira to anyone who has got uh, information that will lead to the arrest and uh, prosecution, of course, of those who were found to have uh, committed those uh, heinous crimes. But that's not the only place. In Ondo State as well, uh, a woman was killed and farmlands destroyed by herders. We understand that uh, up to 200 farms in Ondo states were destroyed by herders. Uh, that's much we understand as well. But let's quickly get an insight into what is actually happening. Sani Aminu Dutsama is a national commentator. He joins me from our Buja studios. I want to thank you so much indeed for coming on the show at this time. Over 20 people have been killed in Benue attacks, which happens within just uh, two days, uh, raising con the concerns that what is being done by the security agencies to try to contain any kind of attack for that matter, and this one happening within two days. What do you make of it? I, I think that is, uh, Mr. Gimba, that is quite a wrong, a wrong question to me to ask me what is going on, or rather what the security people are doing. But what I know is that Nigeria generally, not only in Benue State, in most country, part of the country, just like you said, in uh, River State, in uh, Kaduna State, in Ondo State, all these there is uh, insecurity and there is too much uh, uh, crime going on. And uh, I think that is something of serious concern, and I think that's something that the security agencies and the security uh, apparatus of the country uh, should, should wake up and uh, identify the first thing, probably, I think you should, to identify what is going on and to actually go to the root of the cause of what is going on before they can, they can tackle it. Uh, I, I sincerely disagree, as I, see, I have seen it here on, on the screen that you have said that alleged has been yes, good, fine, alleged. But if you call this alleged has been for, for almost how many years? Yes, now, everything decayed, uh, uh, alleged husband. Have we ever caught one single headsman or have, have, we, have we prosecuted one? Now, that is the question. What's going on? We should realize, we should uh, probably do our most possible best to go to the root of the, these causes and then probably tackle it that way. Because uh, when we have to use the, the word alleged, as you are saying now, it's because we, we are not definitive about uh, if there are uh, investigations that have been carried out that has some have surmounted and come to the conclusion that they are indeed herdsmen, so we have to maintain uh, they are allegedly herdsmen at this time until when the security agencies come out to prove that, yes, indeed, these people are herd, uh, herdsmen. But when the governor of Benue State insists that the leadership of Mayeti Allah Kato Breeders Association are arrested and prosecuted, what must be done by the authorities to stop this kind of attacks and killings? Because he says that they have got concrete evidence yeah. that suggests I, I, that I, I, those, I, 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 those I, I, Mayeti I, I, Allah Kato Breeders should be the ones to be arrested first. What do you think? Yes, yes. Now, it, it is his opinion that the leadership of the Mayeti Allah should be arrested. But have, any, is there any concrete evidence against the leadership of Mayeti Allah? Let me tell you something without calling a name. Now, there is a very senior person in, uh, in, uh, in, Rivers, in uh, Benue State. I know him personally. He was even once a minister in, in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. There was during a meeting, he said to us, and I believe he was telling the truth, that there was an attack sometimes whereby he used his people. They probably, I mean, uh, cornered the people who, who make the attack, and none of the this individual whom they captured, physically captured, could even speak Hausa language, not to talk of a Fulani language. Now, when these people were captured, who, who, they were taken somewhere within the security, uh, security uh, uh, establishment, and that was the last they had of it. What we are saying is that these things are much, much, much more than the way we are thinking. There is, it's a crime that is probably technically 
of sophisticated crime going on within the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But, don't but, but, forget. Uh, let let me just come in here very quickly. Don't forget. Uh, Dimba, my apologies. Dimba, Dimba, let me Dimba. just come in. Okay, go okay. ahead. Okay. Okay. Now, do you think now, that uh, if, the leadership if we, if, of Mayete Allah Breeders Association should surrender itself to the authorities? Do you think that that will help to douse this situation that, in Benue State? With, with, respect to, with, res, with respect to the governor, that is almost a nonsensical statement. Very, very sorry to say that. But why should you call somebody to surrender when you have not even, you have not, you always keep alleging. Now, he have the right even to, 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 to take you to court, say that you are alleging something against him. Get the facts, get the, the, the crime, and then arrest. What I'm saying is that we should, we should, if we are looking at all these things from individual or rather single, single perspective, not from the holistic nature of the Nigerian nation, that the crimes going on with the Nigeria has a kind of a network going on in Nigeria, then we are missing the point. People are being killed in Kaduna State. People are being killed in Muriba State. People are being killed in Benue State. Now we are just isolating Sungula and say, these ones are doing this in Benue State, these ones are doing it in Kaduna State, and these are doing it in, 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 in Muriba State. Now that is wrong. That is wrong. That is the way Boko Haram started in Nigeria. That is the way since started. Now, we, because we keep, we keep alleging that this are the, we identify one okay. group of people uh, as in, this Let, let me quickly, I, I, get what you, I get your drift, really. But uh, do yes. you think for instance, uh, because there's been some suggestions on ways to try to stop this. Do you think that establishing an army formation, for instance, to, uh, to serve Guma and Logo will stop this kind of killings? No, I don't think so. That is just temporary, that is just temporary issue. We, we want a permanent solution to what is going on in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now, when you, when you take, has, has any establishment, a military base in, in George Plateau State, stop killings in Plateau State? No. What of Kaduna State? Has it solved in Kaduna State? No. We have to, you see, this is far beyond the regional or rather the local, the local terrorism that we are thinking of. To my own understanding, it looks to me more like what is going on internationally and generally within the Nigerian nation, generally not simply isolated in Benue State. No. So, yes. uh, so some watchers, some watchers of this, this violence, uh, especially in the Middle Belt area, believe that uh, it's a genocide of sorts taking place there in the Middle Belt. What do you believe? Is that what it is? Is this a genocide that's been hypothesized by some people? What, 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 what I believe is that media people who, who, who propagate, who, who make things, insinuations and make noise about and something, these are the people that probably make things that too difficult for Nigeria. That is not, if, if you call it genocide, then what is happening in, 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 um, in the South, Southeast? What is happening in, in Kaduna State? What is happening in Sokota State? What is happening in the Zamfara State? Now, you, this is the situation see, we are in now, to date, at, at the to, moment. Umar, 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 with apology, Umar, up to today, up to today, not one single individual has been caught. Not one single individual has been caught either in Benue or in Plateau State or in a Kaduna State or in a, a River State to say this is one of the individuals. We have caught kidnappers. We have caught somebody. Now, what is happening no, but, but now? Let, in, let in, me put you case? on the right page because some, some herders were arrested. At, uh, about five of them were arrested concerning the, uh, uh, the recent attacks in Benue State. But, uh, and they are going through the court process at the moment. But we are yet to see how that will conclude at this moment. So I think some progress has been made. Some arrests they, have been they, made they, as well. They, they but were, were looking at, uh, probably, probably also looking at what the moment. IGP wants, for instance. The IGP wants Mr. President to address this rise in his security situation, not only in Benue, but across the country. Do you think that uh, the president should be speaking up or stepping up to, to these uh, concerns at this moment? It is very important. It is very, very important, I think so. But what I said is simple. Now, let us look at these situations within the Nigerian context in a holistic nature. Let us not just isolate one single state and say this is the situation in this state and let us do, deal with this. Let us, now, the, the, whole, the whole nation, the whole crisis in the nation, the whole is something new, it's not something peculiar to us that's just happening. I know it as a tradition. A flanny man and a, and a tib man are supposed to be close friends and close relatives together. Don't forget, don't forget, we have this traditional way of, of, of what we call play, playmates. The tib and the planes are together. Don't forget, I can tell you that, you know Paolo Nungo? Paolo Nungo's mother is a tib lady. His father is a, his, his mother is a flanny and his father is a tib. This has gone for a very, very long time. Relationship. What is going on now?
So what's no, in your it's, words? It's, it's let, me, let me get your we... final thoughts. Let me get your final thoughts yes. about on the way forward yes. on this. Do you feel that, for instance, if um, uh, uh, in dealing with this herdsmen and farmers clash, do you feel, for instance, that if the government should step into this at the federal level and at the end, uh, those policies that have been instituted and laws, especially the anti-open grazing bill in Benue State, do you think there could be some level of harmonization such that the federal government is able to support the state to actualize the uh, implementation of that, uh, of, that, of that law? I think that law, I, I don't have um, an idea probably what he wants to achieve by the law, but what I say and what I still maintain is simple. The federal government, yes, should come in. The federal government should not only concentrate in Benue, the federal government should come in and tackle all the insecurity within the Nigerian nation as a nation. Now, the issue of Benue State, we should try to go to, in fact, not only Benue State, all over the country, we should go back to the root of the cause of this. We, we are fighting Boko Haram. We are yet to identify the, the causes or the individual behind let me give you an example. I know it as a fact. I read it. Probably you journalists, you know it. It was alleged that Jerry Ghana was the person who normally bailed the, the, the Yusuf, Muhammad Yusuf of the Boko Haram leadership. Jerry Ghana came out publicly to put a, 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 a paid advertisement on the papers I that must, no, he I was not part of that. I'm afraid that, uh, that we're going to what, have to what, leave it at that. Have, have I must the thank you so much indeed for your views on the insecurity situation in the country. Uh, Mr. Sani Aminu Ditsama is a national commentator. Thank you so much indeed. And when State of the Nation returns, is Nigeria headed for a double petrol regime? Join us again.